Hi, so this is the very first video of probability and after this we will have many more videos explaining different varieties of questions and different concepts related to probability, right? So what is probability? Probability is actually the fractional representation of any event or incident to happen out of the all possible incidents, right? Suppose if I toss a coin, the coin has heads and tails. Right? These are the two events which can happen when you toss a coin. Right? So the probability of V getting heads is actually 1 out of 2. Right? This is the favorable outcome and this is the total possible outcomes. When we toss a coin, there are two possible outcomes. One is heads and another one is tails. But if we are looking for heads, the total favorable outcome becomes 1. This 1 is the favorable outcome out of the two possible outcomes, right? So the probability of coming heads is actually equal to 1 out of 2, right? H is called event. Right? And P of H is probability of happening this event and this is the fractional value which suggests us how many times or what fraction of the total experiment or activity this result is possible. Right? So this is what probability is and now there are actually two types of probabilities. First is experimental probability and second is theoretical probability. This experimental probability is based on experiments and this theoretical probability is completely based on the calculations. Right? So theoretical probability is what we are going to learn in the next few videos. This experimental probability is based on the actual experiments done by people. We are just trying to establish a relationship between these two and discuss why the theoretical probability is preferred over experimental probability and how the theoretical probability is approximately accurate to that of experimental probability. Right? When a French scientist tossed a coin 4040 times, he got heads for 2048 times. So the probability of getting heads is equal to the favorable outcomes of the experiment divided by the total number of times the experiment is done. So experiment was done 4040 times and 2048 times he got heads. So the probability he got through experiment was actually 0 0.507 which is approximately equal to 0 0.5. That means this is approximately equal to 1 by 2. And when another scientist tossed this coin for 24,000 times, he got heads for 12,012 times, right? And this is actually equal to 0 0.5005, which is approximately and very closely equal to 0 0.5, which is equal to 1 by 2. So if the number of experiments are increased, this probability actually gets closer and closer to the probability which you get using calculation or which is theoretical probability, right? And sometimes the cost of doing an experiment is very high. So the theoretical probability is actually preferred over the experimental probability. So it's better to learn to calculate the theoretical probability, right? And that is what we are going to learn in our next few videos. So this is the formula representation of probability which is the probability of happening any event E is actually equal to the number of favorable outcomes to E divided by the number of all possible outcomes. That means if we can learn to calculate the number of favorable incidents and total number of incidents, we can calculate the probability for an event. Right? So that is what we are going to learn in the next few videos. So keep watching MathSmart and bye bye till then.